morning everybody so today is Monday morning and we are at our first stop we're in Amber Cove the Dominican Republic I'm walking out there so I'm trying not to fall <laughs> but we're getting ready to get off the boat now they just opened the door I believe so we're heading down to well going down to find my dad first and then we're going to get off the boat and go explore the Dominican Republic who I think so <clears throat> Y'all don't mind my reaction. This is just for a minute. Just trying to tie these edges down before I get ready to get off. Not trying to be looking cray. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I'm so excited to actually get off and go exploring. So today what I'm wearing, um, my outfit today, let me see if I can find mirror. You know mirror, so I'll just try to show y'all real quick. So I have on this shirt that I bought at Goodies right before I left. And then I got these shorts from Belk. I think or goodies, milk or goodies. Uh, jewelry, my earrings I actually found at Payless when I was um in Michigan and they're really, really cute. I like these a lot. And um, my sandals are let me see. I think they are. My sandals are from Payless. Let me see. Steve Madden. So yeah, that's my little outfit of the day right quick. Now um we're about to try to figure out how to get off this boat so we can go and explore. I'm so excited. like that for whatever excursions we want to do I don't know what we're gonna do I didn't bring a bathing suit because I don't want to get in the water today but um we're just gonna probably do a tour like a walking tour or something like that around the city and stuff so um yeah we're just waiting to figure out what we're gonna do one thing it is very very pretty it is hot <laughs> but it's nice I'm already sweating I'm probably going to wipe my makeup off because I ain't feeling it already so um yeah I will tell you guys around my day in Amber Cove view ever so we're going all the way up here to see see how pretty it is
gonna walk around and stuff it right right here around the city and then get back on the road. But we wanna take a tour. So we're gonna go find a tour guide and um just see what we can find. It's a beautiful city. I don't wanna waste a day because we're here. And it feel it's hot, but it feels good. Like there's a breeze right now, it feels so good. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna find a, we're gonna find a tour and take some pictures. by Mr. Mendes. He called it Larimar by his daughter's name, Larissa. And Mark goes Mark is C in Spanish. Mm -hmm. That's why the color of, of the stone with the Caribbean C. He gets from Larissa, Lari, and Mark, Larimar. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a Larimar stone. You can take pictures. She's saving me. There's yes. a <laughs> The Larimar is the third hardest stone in the world. The first is the diamond. Di Larimar is the semi precious stone. Diamond is, diamond is precious, has different colors like blue, green, white, and red. White and red are for floor decorations as we have here. Baseball players like David Ortiz has his decoration like this. Okay, so that was just a little tour of the museum about the rocks from, or the stones from the uh, Dominican Republic, the Mayan Museum. And we learned about the Larimar and the Amber Stones. So that was pretty interesting and they are very, very pretty. Okay, next stop, we're walking around downtown. First, my dad wants some coconut water. So that's where we're gonna go get my coconut right quick. Excuse me. Vamos a ver que And then we're gonna go into the Catholic Church, I think. Coconut water. It may have come off that coconut. Did you touch it? I don't think so. That's just... uh -huh. Done? Now we go inside. Is there still some in there? In the cathedral. We're getting up on the way out. It's the cathedral. And the name of this cathedral is San Felipe. And this cathedral made in 1934. <coughs> but before, right here, we have a other church. Very, very old in Mahara. In this time, 
we have it here in Puerto Plata, El Quick, you know, El Quick, the line moved, okay. and that just coming down, okay. and they, they control this one. 65% of the Dominican people is Catholic, and the second one, Christian, and number three, Jehovah with me. This is the most three important religion in the Dominican. Seven years ago, the president we have it before, the name Lionel Fernand, he remodelation all the Catholic Church in the whole Dominican. Now the Catholic Church in the Dominican look nice and beautiful. Okay, so now I understand what he was doing with all the different things with the pictures he was taking, like showing us, making us do different poses. And I'll insert the picture so that you can see how it turned out because it was actually pretty cool. I was like, what in the world are we doing? Or why are you doing that? But it made sense and it was pretty cool. So I'll insert each picture in there as I sh the clip shows of us taking ours. I'll try to put the picture in right there so you'll see what the point of the picture was. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do next, but I'll try to continue to take you guys along, bring you guys along and So we were driving on um, our tour and we passed by this bakery, he was telling us about So we decided to come in and see what we can find. Okay, so we're out of the bakery now, and I got a cupcake, and my dad got some macaroons. Let me show you guys what. Yeah, so I got this cupcake. It's like, if I'm not mistaken, like chocolate mixed with vanilla, and it's got a strawberry on top and some looks like caramel sauce. And my dad got some macaroons, and I'm excited to try them. But I think I need to eat some real food first, because if I don't, my stomach probably gonna hurt. Okay, so I got me a souvenir. I found a picture train for ugh, a picture frame and I thought it was really really cute so I bought that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and ready um go ahead and head back to the boat. Well, my dad, come on. I'm already went back because like I said she wasn't feeling good, so she went ahead of us while we stopped right here to get souvenirs. So I'm gonna go check on her. Probably get something to eat. We'll probably go get something to eat and stuff like that. So so that's our day in Amber Cove. We didn't do very much. We just explored a few little things. But yeah, I'll probably vlog a little bit later on. Okay, guys. So it's dinner time again. I have not picked up this camera since I left the pool. And um, I'm about to eat. I got spring rolls for my appetizer and a pork chop and mashed potatoes or whipped potatoes, whatever that is. I hope it's mashed potatoes and green beans for dinner. 
And um, so yeah, I'm waiting on my appetizer and my, well, yeah, my appetizer right now. After dinner, we're gonna go see if we can find our pictures from yesterday. And then um, there's a show that I wanna go to tonight. But they have a game show, a couple of them. And there's one at 7.30 and one at 9.30 that I wanna go to. So I'm probably gonna do that. Then maybe go get in the hot tub again just to relax before I get ready to go to bed and get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be in St. Thomas. So today was really, really fun. We um, just, like I said, we only went to a few places in the city, but it was nice. I loved it. It was warm and I love summertime. So here comes my food. Let me put this down. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. These are my spring rolls. I'm going to taste them and see how they taste. I hope they're really good. Spring rolls are really, really good. Thumbs up. So dinner has arrived. I have a pork chop with whipped potatoes, which I believe is mashed potatoes, some sauteed green beans, and some stewed apples come with the pork chop with caramelized onions. So this looks really good. It smells really good too. So I'm gonna try to see how it is. 